When you think of a light bulb, one image probably pops into your head, a glowing glass shape that looks suspiciously like a pear. But why that design? Of all the possible shapes in the world, why did the light bulb end up with this iconic silhouette? It's not a perfect sphere, not a tube, and definitely not a cube. What's interesting is that this familiar shape wasn't chosen just for style. It had to balance science, practicality, and even a little bit of human comfort. Behind that simple glow is a story that blends invention, tradition, and clever problem solving. Things we often overlook because the light bulb feels so ordinary today. Today we're answering the question, why are light bulbs shaped like pears? We'll uncover the fascinating mix of history, practicality, and culture that gave us this design, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the pear shape, we need to go back to the late 1800s. When Thomas Edison and other inventors were experimenting with the first electric lamps, they weren't worried about aesthetics. Their biggest concern was creating a bulb that worked without exploding, shattering, or burning out in seconds. The early bulbs were hand-blown glass, and shaping glass into a smooth pear-like form was actually easier for glass blowers than making perfect spheres or sharp-edged cylinders. A pear shape naturally came from the way molten glass behaved when expanded by air. So in many ways, the pear shape was a happy accident of glass blowing tradition. It was the simplest, most practical shape to produce consistently. But it wasn't just about ease of manufacturing. The shape had to serve a purpose. A light bulb isn't just a piece of glass. It's an enclosure for a very delicate filament. That little wire inside needed protection from air, dust, and your clumsy hands. The rounded bulge at the top of the bulb created space for the filament and later on for the tungsten coils. The narrow neck at the bottom made it easier to seal the glass to the metal base. Together, this design gave the bulb both strength and functionality. Think of it like a wine glass. The wide top holds the liquid. The thin stem makes it easy to handle. The pear-shaped bulb worked on the same logic. Light bulbs generate heat, and lots of it. The pear shape wasn't just about looks. It helped the bulb deal with hot air. Here's why. Hot air rises. Inside the bulb, when the filament glowed, the heat traveled upward and distributed evenly across the curved top. If the bulb had been a cylinder, heat would concentrate at certain points, which could stress the glass or shorten the bulb's life. The rounded upper portion made sure the heat dissipated more smoothly. It's a small detail, but when you're trying to make a fragile piece of glass last longer, every detail counts. Another thing we can't ignore is how the bulb feels in the hand. When you twist in a light bulb, you don't grab it like a hammer. You hold it delicately but firmly. The pear shape is comfortable to grip, wide enough to hold securely, but narrow enough at the bottom so your fingers don't slip. Designers, whether consciously or not, created a shape that was practical for human use. Imagine trying to screw in a cube-shaped bulb. It wouldn't feel natural at all. The pear shape offered a balance of usability and comfort. Now, let's not pretend looks didn't matter. As electricity spread and light bulbs became a common household item, they weren't just a scientific novelty anymore. They were part of the furniture. People wanted their lamps to look elegant, not clunky. The pear shape had a kind of natural, organic beauty to it. It looked less like a piece of machinery and more like a familiar object from nature. Back in the Victorian era, curves and flowing lines were fashionable in architecture, furniture, and design. A round, graceful bulb fit right into that aesthetic. In other words, 
The pear-shaped bulb wasn't just functional, it was stylish too. Here's another reason the shape stuck. Once a design becomes the standard, it's really hard to change. By the time light bulbs were being mass-produced in the early 1900s, factories were already set up to make pear-shaped bulbs. Consumers were used to them. Electric sockets, lampshades, and fixtures were all designed around that form. Changing the shape would mean redesigning everything else around it, and that's expensive. So the pear shape became the default look of a light bulb, a kind of visual symbol of electricity itself. Even today, when we think of the word idea, we imagine a little glowing pear-shaped bulb above someone's head. That shows just how deeply it's embedded in our culture. The pear shape also affects how light spreads. Its rounded top allows light to disperse more naturally in all directions, instead of trapping or concentrating brightness in certain spots the way a perfect sphere or cylinder might. This made it incredibly useful for everything from ceiling fixtures to bedside lamps where balanced illumination mattered. Of course, light bulbs haven't always been limited to this one design. Over the years, manufacturers experimented with globes, tubes, spirals, and more. Today's LEDs and CFLs don't even need the traditional shape to function. Yet when companies want to market a classic or retro bulb, they almost always return to the pear design. And there's a good reason for that. Psychology. Humans love familiarity. Over the decades, the pear-shaped bulb became the universal symbol of light. It's instantly recognizable in cartoons, emojis, and even the cliché light bulb moment above someone's head. That cultural shorthand is powerful. Even though modern technology has moved beyond the need for the old design, we still cling to it because it feels natural, trustworthy, and iconic. So next time you flip on a lamp or change a bulb, take a second to appreciate the design in your hand. It's not just a piece of glass, it's over a century of science, engineering, tradition, and even art, all wrapped up in a shape we take for granted. The pear-shaped light bulb reminds us that sometimes the simplest designs are the ones that endure. And that's why, after more than a hundred years of technological change, the light bulb still looks like a pear. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.